Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A little bit of everything with Erin. Listen, I've been hearing you loud and clear. You guys are loving the Oxy videos. I am so grateful for everybody watching them and giving me really great feedback. You guys have been asking and I've been listening, so here we are with another one. So we've done the cups with Mod Podge, we've done the cups with Just Epoxy and Glitter, and we've done it with some Triple Thick. So the next thing you guys are asking about is the Loctite adhesive. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, just a fair warning, you want to get the one in the green bottle. Um, after doing some research, that's what I found will be the best for this. I've picked up a tumbler at Walmart. So I am going to go ahead and use some of my trusty electric tape. You know, I like the electric tape more than I do the painter's tape, but whatever you're more comfortable with is what you should go with. And I'm just going to tape off the top of the cup. I'm going to leave that silver today. Okay, so now again, this comes down to personal preference, but because this cup is going to be for me, I am putting tape at the top. Uh, I just don't like glitter all the way at the top just in case I want to drink out of it like a regular glass and just personal preference. So with this adhesive spray, you do want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. I have three windows and a sliding glass door open right now. And I'm going to wear gloves just because I've never actually used this and I want to make sure I have something on my hands. We're going to just take some extra fine glitter. I happened to find this really pretty pink at Walmart for a couple of bucks. Okay, so there's our first coat. And I was under the impression from other videos and people that I've talked to that use this that you don't have to do a base coat and you would only really need one coat of the glitter and I don't know if my glitter is because it's such a light color or it's extra fine but I can see the color of the tumbler underneath it and that's not really a look that I'm going for so we will definitely do a second coat on this so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry I'm going to wait about 30 minutes and then check on it and see where we go from there but that is with our first coat. happy with that. I felt it took more time to get the amount of glitter I needed on it. I find that some of the glitter looks a little, and I don't know if you can see it, furry if that makes sense. I'm just not 100% liking the way it looks. Um, I would suggest if you're going to do this to color your cup, the color that the glitter you're going to use, or buy one that's pre-done in a color. That way you can do less layers of glitter if that makes sense. And with the Mod Podge, I usually do one last layer of Mod Podge to seal the glitter in. I didn't want to do that with the Lactite because of how sticky it is. It doesn't dry like Mod Podge does. So I sealed the glitter in with one layer of triple thick clear glaze. I have used this with epoxy before, so I felt comfortable going ahead and doing that. I then put it on my hand turner. If you need to know how to make your own at home hand turner, I'll link that video in the description box below. I've also got my epoxy mixed and ready to go. Couple questions on the epoxy that I'll get to. 
Everyone always asks me in my epoxy videos, what brand do I buy? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I actually buy lots of brands. I buy it in bulk and I buy it on eBay. So it's whoever's cheaper and what's shipping. It usually costs me about $100. Um, I do have a couple of favorites. Uh, Art Resin is one of my favorite, favorite ones. It's just a really good brand. In the description box, there will be a affiliate link to my Amazon storefront. If you click that and then go to crafts, you'll see all the different epoxies that I do purchase. Um, they'll range anywhere from $25 to $100. Like I said, it just depends on the amount you're buying and what brand you're buying. So I will leave that. I do make a commission off of that. It's very small. The commission goes back into my videos to help make videos of tutorials that you guys want to see and to do giveaways. So I do have my gloves on. I'm just going to use the finger method here by putting some of the epoxy on the cup and just putting that all over it. I still have my black electrical tape on there. I'm just going to try to get nice even coats all over this. I mix my epoxy up slowly for three full minutes. I do time that so it's exactly three minutes. The reason I mix it nice and slowly and I only move in one direction when I'm stirring it is so that I get less air bubbles. If I don't have any air bubbles, I don't have to heat it up with my heat gun. I don't like using the heat gun on epoxy when it's on the tumblers. I have had bad experiences with that. Not that anything's caught on fire, but it sometimes doesn't move right or if you get too close it hardens the epoxy in that spot and then you just have to pretty much start all over so i have found that mixing nice and slowly for three full minutes and then letting it sit on the counter for about another minute has pretty much taken care of all the bubbles for me so i can already tell that i'm gonna need to do at least one more layer of epoxy after this dries. I really, guys, I'm not a huge fan of this Loctite. Loctite? Loctite. I think that's how you say it. Everyone told me that they wanted to see this video and that they heard great things about this stuff and that it just holds the glitter really well. And I watched a lot of videos even after I started the process just to make sure I was doing it right for you guys so that you could have you know, a clear view of what it's like to use that versus the Mod Podge, and we'll see what it looks like when it when it's over and done with, but right now I'm just not feeling it. Okay guys, um, I filmed this part and forgot to plug in my microphone, but basically I'm taking off the electrical tape. My cup is at a point where it's still wet, but it's kind of sticky, so nothing's really going to move. So I just want to get that edge of the electrical tape, and I want to get that off because I don't want the epoxy to harden, and then that tape to get stuck there. So if you just keep it straight and move your hand turner... It should come off nice and smooth. If you do happen to get any lifting, your epoxy should be at that state where it is sticky, where you can just kind of touch it with a gloved finger to put it back down so it'll dry in the correct spot. But I was able to get all the electrical tape off in pretty much one motion. And this is why I do go above my electrical tape a bit with the glitter and the epoxy, just so I don't have any pulling on the, from the cup. It's only taking off what's on the electrical tape. And then another quick little tip, baby wipes are amazing for wiping up epoxy. I don't know why they work so well, but baby wipes are fantastic. I had a little bit of spot right here where the two edges of the tape met, so I just cleaned that up with a baby wipe, literally just wiped right off the cup. Baby wipes are great, get you some. 
Okay, so like I said earlier, I was gonna need to do a second coat of epoxy. The reason I need to do a second coat is because I can kind of feel the glitter still. It's a little rough and bumpy. Now, to if you wanted to, you could sand it down, but you're still gonna need to do a second coat of epoxy. So I typically skip the whole sanding down part. I just don't do it. I just add that second layer of epoxy and I find that that just really seals everything. It takes care of the little bumps that might be in the from the imperfections of the glitter and it works well for me. I've always done it this way and I've never had any problems and like I said never had to sand it down. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a second coat of epoxy with the finger method again and I'm going to let that completely dry. And again I will remove the electric tape at that point when the epoxy is still sticky um, but not completely hardened. I've already cut out my name in vinyl I've done an internal offset to kind of give it a highlight look. Um, if you want to know how to do that, I'll link the video to this in the description box below. So we're going to put this on some contact paper and lay this on the cup, just like that. Okay, now we have our vinyl on there. I put more electrical tape on the top just to make sure we don't have any drips on the end there. And now you could stop here, but I just prefer to seal this in when I've already done enough epoxy anyway, so might as well do one more layer. And you really should only need one more layer once your vinyl is on. If you need a second coat, then you know by all means do a second coat. So I have my epoxy all mixed up, and I'm going to do, as I did before, the finger method and hand turn it. Alright guys, it's been 24 hours. I've just taken it off of my hand turner. There it is in all of its glory. Lid's already on it. So I have no bumps, no bruising, no rough spots. It's all perfect. It looks great. I am actually surprised because I did have my doubts for a little bit there, but it actually worked out really well and I am satisfied with it. So if you think you like the lactite method instead, that is another option to use. Make sure you buy the one in the green bottle. That's the one you want to do. And I bought extra fine glitter. This one I actually picked up at Walmart, but you can find some at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any kind of crafting store will sell it. Even on Amazon you can find some. Um, and I did the highlighting in my name, which I thought came out great. It's the first time I've actually done it with a vinyl. I do do it when I'm doing paintings, and I thought it would be different. It would give it a different effect. I really do like that. Um, most people do the offset, and I don't think a lot of people do this kind of design, so I thought it would be different and really cool. If I had to decide between doing this method, the Mod Podge method, or the Just Epoxy method, because now I have done all three for you guys, personally, I would do the Mod Podge method, only because I felt like I could get more glitter on here in where I only need to do it like maybe two times, maybe two times, sometimes I can get it in one. But with the lactate, I did need to go over the glitter a total of three times just to get a nice good coat. I think if I had painted the cup pink first, um, I probably would have only needed two coats on it like I normally would, but I just don't like painting the cups and I wasn't gonna go out and try to find a pink one that would end up being more expensive than the stainless steel so that's that that's just my opinion as always you know do what you like do how you would want to do best I'm just here doing this because you guys had asked me to and I really wanted to test it out and let you know my thoughts on it so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below as always I do try to answer those right away at least within the first 24 hours I do have a job and some kids so sometimes I can't get through them quickly but I do try if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. 
If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos and I try to post them as often as possible. If you have an idea of a video I should make or a tutorial I should do, leave me a comment down about that. I do appreciate your feedback. Until next time, guys, happy crafting! Thank you.